Hello dear students, welcome to Vision Pharmacy. Hope your studies are going well. In our today's video, we are going to solve some practice MCQs based on the topic that is dosage forms of drugs, then the next one is introduction to pharmacopoeia and metrology. So before we start with our today's video, please do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting updates on upcoming videos. Let's begin with the questions. The first question is what do you mean by otic dosage form and the options are a dosage form for the drug administration through the eyes option number b dosage form for drug administration through the ears option number c dosage form for drug administration through the nose and option number d both for the eyes and the nose and the right answer of this question is option number b that is dosage form for the drug administration through the years. Then the next question, question is dosage form can be classified depending on and the options are A, its route of administration, option number B, drug release pattern, option number C, sterility and option number D, all of the above. And the right answer of this question is option number D, that is all of the above. You can classify the dosage form based on its route of administration, drug release pattern, sterility along with that you can also classify based on nature of formulation then site of application then release site, design of formulation etc. Moving to next question the question is EDTA stands for and the options are option number A ethylene ditetraacetate Option number B is ethanol diazole tetraacetic acid. Option number C is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. And option number D is none of the above. And the right answer of this question is option number C that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is the fill form of EDTA. Then the next question again on EDTA. So EDTA is widely used as and the options are A antioxidant, option number B buffers, option number C chelating agents and option number D preservative. And the right answer, yes you are right it is used as C that is chelating agent. Then moving to next question, question number 5, the question is which of the following monophasic dosage form is for internal use and the options for these questions are option number A gargles, option number B linktasis, option number C eye drop and option number D liniments. So the one which is a monophasic liquid dosage form and is for internal use and the right answer of this question is linktasis because rest all of them are monophasic liquid dosage form but they are for external use. Moving to next question, question number 6. The question is a substance that undergoes chemical conversion by metabolic process during sorry before becoming an active pharmacological agent is and the options are A drug, B prodrug, option number C nanoparticles or option number D microspheres and yes you have guessed right the correct answer of the question is option number b that is pro drug then question number seven the question is the first united state pharmacopoeia was released on and the options are a 15th of june 1820 option number b 25th of march 1820 option number c 15th of December 1820 and option number D that is 15th of December 1821 if you are thinking option number D you are wrong correct answer is option number C that is 15th of December 1820 then the next question question is the seventh edition of pharmacopoeia was published in so this question is about Indian pharmacopoeia okay so 7th edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia was published in and the options are A 2007, option number B 2010, 
ऑप्शन नंबर सी 2014 एंड ऑप्शन नंबर डी 2018 एंड द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज 2014 देन मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज पायरोजन टेस्ट हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड बाय बैक्टीरियल एंडोटॉक्सिन टेस्ट दैट इज बीईटी इन पैरेंटल प्रिपरेशन एंड अदर्स इन द ऑप्शंस आर ए फिफ्थ एडिशन ऑफ आईपी द नेक्स्ट वन इज सिक्स्थ एडिशन ऑफ आईपी द नेक्स्ट वन इज सेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ आईपी और एट्थ एडिशन ऑफ आईपी सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज इट हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड इन एट्थ एडिशन ऑफ आईपी दैट इज वेरी रिसेंट आईपी ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन Nineteen new radiopharmaceutical monographs and one general chapter is first time been introduced in dash edition. And the options are a fifth edition of IP that is two thousand seven, then sixth edition of IP that is of two thousand ten, next one is seventh edition of IP that is IP of two thousand fourteen, and eighth edition of IP that is two thousand eighteen, and. The right answer of this question is option number C, that is in seventh edition of IP, nineteen new radiopharmaceutical monographs and one general chapter is for the first time been introduced. Then moving to question number eleven, the question is eighth edition of IP was published in, and the options are A, eighteen ninety eight, option number B, nineteen fourteen. option number c 1953 and option number d 1973 and the right answer of this question is option number c 1953 then moving to next one that is the first edition of european pharmacopeia was published in the options are a 1950 option number b 1964 option number c 1967 and option number d 1980 and the correct answer of this question is option number c that is 1967 moving to next question the question is the standard of empirical system is and the options are a ton option number b quintal option number c pound and option number d kilograms and the right answer of this question is option number c that is pound then the next question question number 14 one ounce is equal to and the options are 16 part of 1 pound then 10 part of 1 pound option number c 43.75 grains and option number d both b and c so if you are thinking both b and c then you are definitely wrong the correct answer is 16 part of 1 pound okay moving to the next question the question is gallon is defined as volume occupied by options are a 10 empirical standard option number b 8 imperial standard option number c 7 imperial standard and option number d that is 6 imperial standard and the right answer of this question is option number a that is 10 imperial standard moving to next question number 16 the question is the metric system was legalized in india from the options are a from 1 september 1947 option number b from 1 april 1950 option number c from 1st of april 1957 and option number d from 1st september 1960 so the correct answer of this question is option number c that is from 1st april 1957 the metric system was legalized in india then question number 17 the question is one dessert spoonful is equal to and the options are a 4 ml option number b 8 ml option number c 12 ml and option number d 15 ml so the correct answer of this question is option number b 8 ml okay 1 t 
teaspoonful is equal to 4 ml, 1 dessert spoonful is equal to 8 ml and 1 tablespoonful is equal to 15 ml. Please do remember. Moving to next question. Question number 18. The question is 1 te uh, teaspoonful is equal to. So just now as I said, options are A, 4 ml, B, 8 ml, C, 12 ml and D, 15 ml. You know the right answer? The right answer is option number A, that is 4 ml. Then next question, the question is, question number 19, 1 gram is equal to, and the options are A, 5 grains, B, 15 grains, C, 1 ounce, and D, 15 ounce. And the right answer of this question is B, 15 grains. Then the last question of this presentation, the question is 1 ounce is equal to and the options are A 15 grams, B 30 grams, C 12 grams and D 50 grams. And the correct answer of this question is option number B 30 grams. Okay, So 1 ounce is equal to 30 grams whereas 1 fluid ounce is equal to 30 ml. So this is all in our current video. Thank you for watching this video till end.